Resident Evil Apocalypse is a 2004 science fiction action horror film directed by Alexander Witt. It serves as a sequel to the 2002 film Resident Evil and is the second installment in the Resident Evil film series, which is loosely based on the popular video game series of the same name. Here is a detailed summary of the movie. Plot Summary The film picks up immediately after the events of the first Resident Evil movie. The deadly T-Virus has escaped from the underground Umbrella Corporation laboratory in Raccoon City and turned the population into ravenous zombies. Alice Mila Jovovich, the genetically enhanced protagonist from the first film, awakens in a deserted hospital and finds herself in the midst of a city overrun by the Undead. Alice is soon joined by Jill Valentini, Sienna Guillory, a former member of Raccoon City's Special Tactics and Rescue Service, STRs, who has become a determined survivor. They are also joined by Carlos Oliveira, Oded Fair, and his team of mercenaries, who have been sent by Umbrella to rescue Dr. Charles Ashford, Jared Harris, a scientist who possesses knowledge critical to controlling the T-virus. Dr. Ashford's daughter, Angela, Sophie Vavasseur, is stranded in Raccoon City, and he implores Alice and the group to rescue her in exchange for safe passage out of the city. However, they have only a few hours before Umbrella's plan to sterilize Raccoon City with a nuclear bomb takes effect. As Alice, Jill, Carlos, and the others navigate through the city, they face not only hordes of zombies, but also genetically enhanced creatures, including the formidable Nemesis, a hulking bioengineered super soldier with a personal vendetta against Alice. Along the way, they encounter other survivors, including LJ, Mike Epps, who adds humor to the dire situation. Alice gradually regains her memories and abilities, including superhuman strength and agility, which she uses to fight off the relentless threats. Jill, meanwhile, relies on her combat skills and familiarity with the city to lead the group to safety. As they race against time, the group uncovers Umbrella's true intentions. They plan to destroy Raccoon City to cover up the outbreak and protect their research. Alice and her allies confront Umbrella's forces, and a series of intense battles ensue. In the climax of the film, Alice faces off against the nemesis, eventually revealing that the creature was once Matt Addison, Eric Mabius, a former ally who was subjected to Umbrella's experiments. Alice defeats Nemesis and disables the nuclear bomb with moments to spare. The movie concludes with Alice, Jill, and the others leaving Raccoon City in a helicopter, having narrowly escaped the explosion. However, they are unaware that the events in Raccoon City are just the beginning of a larger conspiracy involving Umbrella Corporation's sinister experiments and plans for global domination. Themes Resident Evil Apocalypse explores themes of survival, corporate greed, and the consequences of unchecked scientific experimentation. It delves into the idea of ordinary individuals thrust into extraordinary situations and the choices they make in the face of overwhelming danger. Legacy and Reception While Resident Evil Apocalypse received mixed reviews from critics, it was successful at the box office and contributed to the popularity of the Resident Evil film franchise. The movie's action sequences and horror elements appealed to fans of the video game series, and Mila Jovovich's portrayal of Alice gained recognition as a strong female action hero. The film's success led to several more sequels in the series, continuing the story of Alice and the global conspiracy surrounding Umbrella Corporation. The Resident Evil film franchise ultimately became one of the highest grossing film series based on a video game, solidifying its place in the realm of action horror cinema.